Hello, everyone. This is greeting from Australia. My name is Kanyanata. I am sorry I cannot attend ACAS 2011. However, I would like to present my paper by the PowerPoint presentation as follow. My paper title is Thailand's Response to CEDAW, 26 Years of Women Human Rights. First of all, I would like to do the introduction to this paper. I am doing my PhD at the University of New South Wales, Sydney, Australia. My research title is The Promotion of Women's Human Rights in Thailand, Case Study of CEDAW and Senior Executive Female Civil Servants from 1995 to 2008. In my paper, there are four parts. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about International CEDAW. Second, I'm going to talk about Thailand's responses to CEDAW. Third, I would like to state the structural change and legal change complying to CEDAW. And then I would like to tell you about the facts about female in decision making in Thailand. CEDAW is Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. CEDAW is a women's human rights mechanism at a global level. Established under the United Nations General Assembly in 1979 and came into action in 1981. So. If someone asks me about CEDAW, what is CEDAW? I would like to say that CEDAW is International Law for Women. CEDAW shaped the ways of how does the society should treat women in general. Now we come to the part of Thailand. Um, I will assume that everyone knows Thailand. Thailand is one of the country in Southeast Asia. Thailand um, is a male dominant country because of the culture. And um, when CEDAW came into action, Thailand became the one of the member party of CEDAW. And once you, the country wants to be the member party of CEDAW, the country can make reservations for a certain time. The withdrawal of reservations consider to be country's credit to international society. Upon being member of CEDAW, Thailand makes seven reservations, which are first for Article 7, the equal rights to be in the political arena and equal rights to high to be in a high level of civil serv service system. Article 9, the rights of women as well as men to provide their nationality to their children. Article 10, rights for equality in education. Article 11, equal rights and opportunities in employment. Article 15, the right to be under the same law, Article 16, the right to family equality, and Article 29, the right of state of Thailand to interpret and choose dispute settlement. When country make reservation, it means that that country would not follow all of that which has been reserved. So. For Thailand case, in 1990, Thailand withdrew its reservation to Article 11 and Article 15, followed by the 1992 withdrawal of Article 9 and the 1995 withdrawal of Article 7 and Article 10. So all of the above, Thailand remained reservation in Article 16 and Article 29. 
Then we shall have a look at the what is the Thailand response to CEDAW. The first part of the response I consider it's a structural change. And um, in this change, the government of Thailand established a border unit to deal with the CEDAW. This governmental unit is the Office of Women's Affairs and Family Development. It belongs to Ministry of Social Development and Human Security. The Office of Women's Affairs and Family Development has 220 staff. This office responsibility is first to report to you the United Nations. Second, to create a women's development plan for Thailand. Third, to promote the gender equality of civil servant, male and female. Fourth, to invent the CGEO and GFP which refer to Chief of Gender Equality Officer and gender focal point. Uh, I am sorry that I couldn't explain about these two function because of our time limit but I would like to um, talk furthermore about another responsibility of this office. Another kind of women affairs and family matters are all belong to this office and um, it would seem to be a lot of work for this office. The second major change of Thailand uh, complying to CEDAW is legal change. I would like to give the two example. That is first the name act BE 2548. For legal change, I could give two examples. First is the NAME Act. It was in January 2005. The NAME Act was amended. Before that, married women have to use the husband's family name. But after the amendment of the NAME Act, in January 2005, uh, Thai married people can enjoy the right to choose their family name. They can maintain their maiden name or use spouse family name if their choice. The second example is the Women Title Act in February 2008. This is a very stunningly surprise for Thai women. So Thai women who are married have a right to choose to use their title as Miss or Mrs. Also, married women whose marriage terminate can choose to use Miss or Mrs. afterward voluntarily. Um, I think this is not going to be a um, surprise for many of you in the in the conference, but it is it is a big surprise for Thai women because we never think about having this right before. So now we come to the fourth part of this paper, which I'm going to present to you is the fact about women's status in Thailand. Here I want to state that the unit body in dealing with the promotion of women's human rights is too small. If you look at the former slide um, about the Office of uh, Women Affairs, there is only 220 staff, but the work is so much and so much to be done in the future. So I think this is one of the weakness in um, towards the government that, that try to and want to promote the women's human rights. 
so the solution for this is just to suggest to the government that the unit body is too small, too small number of people who work in that office and you cannot expect the bigger um, success full in this promotion of women's human rights for that too small number of civil servants in that office. And second, I want you to look at women in power alone, just women in power alone. The number of women in power who can participate in policy decision making are very small compared to men. I shall show you the next pie graph. So this is the percentage of female and male in senior executive level of civil servants. At that time, senior executive referred to level 9, 10 and level 11, which is the top of the civil servant position. In 2002, female is 17%, 2003, female is 20 one percent in 2004 female is 20 percent in 2005 is a little bit moving up 22 percent in 2006 23 percent and in 2008 28 percent this is um moving up but all of the above the the number of the percentage is never close to half of male in this executive level and if we look at percentage of female and male in cabinet look at the graph and i i, I don't want to just read the number and you can see the Pale blue is the percentage of male and um, the, the, the darker blue is the percentage of female in the cabinet. So then have a look of um, number of female and male in political party in general. In 2005, it was 91 to 8. In 2007, it was 88 to 11. I mean, how could this small number of female has not been moved up even though Thailand has withdrawn a lot of reservation already and from the former slide we will look at the general picture member of parliament and you can see from the graph that the number of female women in in parliament is too small compared to male and from this thing, I think that the government has to have some kind of policy change or um, some kind of supportive encouragement for female to get to participate in this power of uh, issuing policy and law. I think that if government try harder in encourage the female or women to be in this power position, I think we can see the higher number of the female in parliament. I would address that the promotion of women's human rights in Thailand is developed but there is still a long way to go. There is still a lot of things to do and the need uh, cooperation between 
government, private sector, and even individual, both men and women. Women should think about their career goal, have career path, and should be more involving, participating in the politics, and even try to um, try to bring themselves into a higher position. And this will reflect in the future. We have unlimited time to promote the women human rights and I have a strong belief that in the future we will have higher number of female in every of the chart or graph above that we have seen it together. And thank you very much for um participate by listening to my presentation. Thank you.